Welcome to our channel. Today, we're strapping ourselves into the spaceship of knowledge and blasting off to explore some of the most common myths about space that you might still believe. You know, those little nuggets of misinformation that somehow wormed their way into our collective consciousness. We're talking about those facts you heard as a kid, maybe even taught in school, that just aren't quite right. Like, is there really a dark side of the moon? Can you hear anything in the vacuum of space? And can astronauts really float effortlessly, like they're swimming in zero gravity? Get ready to have your mind blown wide open because we're about to separate fact from fiction and journey into the real wonders of the cosmos. Let's dive in. Let's dive. Ever heard someone say dark side of the moon and thought, shouldn't it be the far side? Well, you're right. The moon, our celestial dance partner, doesn't actually have a permanently dark side. Think about it. The moon orbits the Earth, and it also rotates on its own axis. Now, it just so happens that the time it takes to complete one rotation is almost exactly the same as the time it takes to orbit us once. This cosmic synchronicity means we Earthlings only ever get to see one face of the moon. But that doesn't mean the other side is shrouded in eternal darkness. As the moon journeys around our planet, the far side gets its turn to bask in the sun's rays. It experiences day and night cycles, just like the side we see. So the next time you hear someone mention the dark side of the moon, you can confidently step in and say, actually, it's all about perspective. All right, picture this. You're an astronaut floating in the vast emptiness of space. Everything's still silent, right? The stars are twinkling in the distance and the Earth is a beautiful blue marble below you. You might think that in this serene environment there would be absolute silence. Well, not exactly. It's true that space is a near-perfect vacuum, and sound, as we know it, needs a medium like air or water to travel. Without air molecules to vibrate, traditional sound waves can't propagate. So, no, you wouldn't hear a spaceship whizzing by or a meteor exploding in a cacophony of sound. The silence can be eerie, but it's also misleading. But here's the catch. Space isn't completely empty. It's filled with phenomena that we can't hear with our ears, but can detect in other ways. It's teeming with electromagnetic radiation, magnetic fields, and streams of charged particles. These elements create a dynamic environment that is far from silent. These things may not vibrate our eardrums, but they do carry energy and information. Scientists use sophisticated instruments to translate these signals into data we can understand. Think of it like this. Imagine standing by a silent lake. The water is calm and you don't hear the water itself, but you see ripples, waves, and disturbances on its surface. These visual cues tell you that something is happening beneath the surface. Space is similar. You don't hear the cosmic events, but you can see and measure their effects. The ripples and waves in space are detected by our instruments, revealing the hidden symphony of the cosmos. We can't hear the sound directly, but we can detect these cosmic ripples using specialized instruments. Telescopes and observatories capture these signals, allowing us to study the universe in ways we never thought possible. So while space might not be alive with the sounds we're used to, it's far from silent. The quiet is filled with the hum of cosmic energy, the dance of particles, and the whispers of magnetic fields. It's a symphony of cosmic energy waiting to be decoded. Each signal is a note in the grand composition of the universe, a testament to the complexity and beauty of the cosmos. Chapter 3 The Great Wall from Space An Epic Optical Illusion Here's a myth that's been stubbornly clinging to our textbooks for years, the idea that the Great Wall of China is the only human-made structure visible from space. This notion has been passed down through generations, often cited in classrooms and trivia games alike. It's a grand notion imagining astronauts gazing down at our planet and picking out this ancient marvel. The idea conjures images of spacefarers peering through their windows, marveling at the ingenuity of ancient builders. But the truth is, this claim is about as solid as a lunar landscape. Just like the barren, cratered surface of the moon, the idea crumbles under scrutiny. 
While the Great Wall is undeniably impressive from the ground stretching over 13,000 miles, it becomes practically invisible from the orbital heights where astronauts reside. The sheer scale of Earth from space dwarfs even the most monumental of human achievements. Think about it. From space, you're seeing entire continents, vast oceans and swirling cloud formations. The perspective from orbit is so vast that even the largest human-made structures become minuscule. The Great Wall, even at its widest points, is just a slender thread against that backdrop. Its impressive length and historical significance don't translate to visibility from such great distances. Plus, its color blends in with the surrounding terrain, making it even harder to distinguish with the naked eye. The materials used to construct the wall, primarily earth and stone, match the natural landscape, camouflaging it from above. Astronauts have confirmed that while they can see cities, highways, and other large-scale structures, the Great Wall remains elusive. Urban areas with their sprawling lights and distinct patterns are far more noticeable from space. So, while the Great Wall holds its place as an architectural marvel, let's keep its grandeur grounded in reality. Its true magnificence is best appreciated up close, where one can walk its ancient stones and feel the weight of history beneath their feet. Chapter 4. Black Holes. Cosmic Gluttons or Misunderstood Marvels. Black Holes. The cosmic monsters of the universe, lurking in the darkness, hungry to devour anything that gets too close. These enigmatic entities have fascinated scientists and the public alike for decades. It's an image straight out of a sci-fi horror film, but the reality is a bit more nuanced. While they are indeed powerful, black holes are not the insatiable beasts they're often made out to be in popular culture. Black holes are regions of space-time where gravity is so intense that nothing, not even light, can escape their pull. This phenomenon occurs because a massive amount of matter is compressed into a very small area, creating a gravitational field so strong that it warps the fabric of space-time itself. But they're not cosmic vacuum cleaners, relentlessly sucking in everything in their path. In fact, if our Sun were to be replaced by a black hole of the same mass, the orbits of the planets in our solar system would remain largely unchanged. Imagine a black hole as a really, really dense ball at the center of a cosmic trampoline. The trampoline represents the fabric of space-time, and the dense ball represents the black hole. Now if you roll a marble across the trampoline, it might curve a bit as it passes by the ball, but it won't necessarily get sucked in. This is because the marble needs to be very close to the dense ball to be pulled in. The same principle applies to black holes. Objects need to get very close to the event horizon, the point of no return, to be trapped by their gravity. This event horizon is the boundary beyond which nothing can escape the black hole's pull. Objects need to get very close to the event horizon, the point of no return, to be trapped by their gravity. This event horizon is the boundary beyond which nothing can escape the black hole's pull. It's a fascinating and terrifying concept, but it also means that black holes are not as dangerous as they might seem from a distance. So, while black holes are undeniably powerful objects, they're not the cosmic gluttons they're often portrayed to be. Instead, they play a crucial role in the universe, influencing the formation and evolution of galaxies. They're more like cosmic sculptors, shaping the fabric of space-time in fascinating and complex ways. Their immense gravitational pull can bend light, create gravitational waves, and even affect the passage of time. In many ways, black holes are not just cosmic gluttons, but misunderstood marvels of the universe. Chapter 5. The Weightlessness Illusion Falling with Style We've all seen the iconic images of astronauts floating effortlessly in their spacecraft, seemingly defying gravity with every move. It's enough to make anyone wish they could experience the weightlessness of space. But here's the thing. Astronauts aren't truly weightless. They're in a constant state of freefall. Imagine yourself stepping off a diving board. For a brief, exhilarating moment, you feel weightless, right? That's because you're falling freely under the influence of gravity. Astronauts in orbit are essentially doing the same thing, just on a much grander scale. They're falling towards Earth, 
but their spacecraft is also moving horizontally at a tremendous speed. This perfect balance between falling and moving forward creates a perpetual freefall, giving astronauts the sensation of weightlessness. It's like falling without ever hitting the ground. So, while we might call it zero gravity, it's more accurate to think of it as freefall forever. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more fascinating content about space and science. See you next time.